Welcome everybody, it's Telemund in this video. I am going to be talking about what I think would make Zombies in Space Line absolutely amazing in an amazing mode as a whole. Now I'm going to be going from a different bunch of different areas from gameplay's perspective to storyline perspective to Easter egg perspective, all the different ways we can look at. And of course, if you guys disagree or agree or think I left something out throughout all this video, go ahead and leave all those thoughts down in the comments and tell me why you think any of this. That would be absolutely great. So without further delay, let's actually get into this video. So first I'm going to start out with story because everybody, well at least I have hope of all my subscribers should know I'm a good big storyline person for Treyarch Zombies so I'm not too sure if they're going to be keeping the story, well actually it, they probably aren't going to be keeping a serious zombie mode but let me just tell you what I think they should do with the story. So I think they're mainly, it should be this goofy story that everyone can understand that everybody just sees as it is and that's what it's going to be but what i also hope is that they have this backstory this more cryptic story that's in the background and we already see hints of this but what i hope they keep in the background this really dark story that it's not part of them it is part of the story but it's not the main idea of the story but for people like me can dig into because we do see willer wyler making these making these rituals and we see another ritual inside the pack bunch room talking about a devil maleficus and it's just really interesting to see what they're going to be doing with this of course we're not too sure how big of a role this is all going to play in. I'm not too sure. I don't think a lot of people would like this to take the main role of the story. Personally, I would love that, but it looks like they're not English, just going to keep it in the background. So it's really interesting and I like to see what they're going to do with it. So that's why I hope they do with the story. Now characters, this one has been worrying me for a long time, the characters, ever since I heard the idea of this story. So the story, of course, we're going to be going through different movie universes and our characters are going to be changing their personality to that fit that role they're going to be playing, which is kind of worrying because why would you want a character how can you get attached to a character who changes every map what is going to make you stick to that character that's why everyone loves Richtofen because he has this character going throughout all the story he does change a little when he becomes his origins version of himself he's not this selfish guy but there's a reason for that and all this stuff just but he's still the same guy nonetheless he's just so cool that's why people like him that's why people like our previous four characters but in this one it looks like their personality is going to be changing so what i hope they are going to do which would not i don't know if they would save the characters to where make them actually likable but what would absolutely make me love these characters would be if they're actually going through all these stories but inside the maps like no like right now would be perfectly fine we see no outreach from their real personality but maybe in dlc one we see some hints but in then dlc 2 dlc 3 and dlc 4 these that are characters real personality is trying to take over it's trying to take back this body that's there for they can actually be what they are they want to be out they can just reach out and say is just say they can't take it anymore or just something like that just this struggle for them where they can travel through that they could try to fight through and it would be so cool just imagine that it could be more of like a psychological i guess if you did it that way but it seems unlikely especially because of how the route it looks like they're going to be taking this story but still that would be absolutely amazing i would absolutely love about that i would absolutely love them for doing that so now moving on to easter eggs so big easter eggs and small easter eggs so so the small easter eggs they just i feel like there's a lack of them not as many as maybe Treyarch zombies has I just don't see them there as often then the meat main Easter egg seems really simple but insanely difficult and has no reward I, and no cutscene nothing that's one thing I don't like they really need to change up the main Easter egg ideas just why did I do that Easter egg yeah I get to pack a bunch of wonder weapons but I should have been able to do that before that's ridiculous why do I have to do the Easter egg to pack punch my wonder weapons that's ridiculous but anyways I just see that as a case and I really feel like they should work on their Easter eggs because I'm really not motivated to do their Easter eggs at all I see really when am I going to get a trophy I know I like getting trophies but still I I just don't see as it being worth it right now. Now the weapons, I feel like the weapons need to be buffed the heck out of them. They are really bad now, even if you pack punch them, they just stop working so early in the rounds. They really need to fix that, so that's just one thing they need to fix. Wonder weapons, they need to make them better because even if you buff the current wonder weapons, they still won't be as good. No matter how you look at their wonder weapons aren't going to be that good. Even Now I don't even know how you would buff them and make them better. So I do want to see more powerful wonder weapons inside Infinite Warfare Zombies. Now I wanted to end this off with perks because perks are really interesting because inside Zombies in Space Line, we got introduced 10 perks, 10 new perks 
that is an insane amount of perks but at the same time we have to remember most of these perks are just remade Treyarch zombies perks so of course we have the mill kick quick revive double tap jug and all these essential perks that should be in every map so we can't really count as 10 new perks but more like there was like two new perks like sloppy taffy and trailblazers those were their two new original type of deal perks i don't know if how original they are but they are new to zombies we'll just say that now if they've already introduced two what i feel is that they should introduce two more throughout the lifetime of infinite warfare zombies and that is because i don't want to see a black ops 3 thing where they only introduce new perks inside the first map and then they forget about it for the rest of the game oh we didn't make any new perks didn't we haha <laughs> and people didn't care and everyone was just justifying it with the gobble gums which kind of made sense but at the same time why do we justify it with the gobble gums that makes no sense because gobble gums are not perks they are separate things but anyways, that's we're not talking about Black Ops 3 zombies there now. And I also don't want something like Black Ops 2 zombies where we get a new perk every single map because then, then there'd just be too many perks and I wouldn't like that. Of course, Origins didn't have a new perk, but still, I would like to see in the total count of new perks that are introduced is four. So we already had two inside zombies in Space Line, and then I would like to see in DLC 1 and maybe DLC 3 and introduce two new perks. So that would be what I like and what I think would make Infinite Warfare zombies absolutely amazing. So tell me what you guys think about this in down in the comments like I said at the start of the video But if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead and like the video if you guys want to stay tuned for more content Just like this go ahead and subscribe, but I'm gonna go and I will catch you guys on my next video